We wrap up Black History Month by celebrating music. African Americans have created some of the most memorable music in every genre, from country to R&B, hip hop and jazz. Tonight, the growing influence of African Americans on opera stages around the world. Marian Anderson, singing on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial in 1939. She later became the first black soloist at the Metropolitan Opera in New York. The acclaimed soprano, Leontine Price, hit the Met stage in 1961. George Shirley became the first black tenor to sing leading roles at the Metropolitan Opera. Just a few of the names who blazed a trail for a growing number of African-American opera singers today. My teacher says our voices should be like a bird that we let fly. Tenor Lawrence Brownlee is one of the world's most sought after opera singers. I caught up with him and Houston-based soprano Nicole Houston as they prepared for a recent Houston concert. I love the challenge of continue trying to perfect my art form, what I do, and I just think it provides me a great opportunity to be an expressive artist. Expressive in an art form that is unique. Brownlee and Heaston say opera singers use their entire bodies to deliver a song because they sing without microphones and learn to sing in a different language. And when you're there and you're just bearing your soul and singing and praying that everything comes out to a point where they're appreciating what you're doing and you feel that energy come back, even if it's silent, you feel that energy. That is like electric to have. Brownlee and Heaston are now mentoring and leading the way for younger African-American classical singers like Corey McGee and Renee Richardson, Houston Grand Opera Butler studio artists who performed at Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church last week. And at the very same concert, George Shirley, who we mentioned earlier. Still performing at the age of 88. Generations past and present, African-American opera singers reaching higher, lifting their voices, and singing. I could continue listening to them. They all sound so beautiful. Amazing. I have to ask you, is it classical music all the time when they're not on stage? What are they listening to? Okay, so uh, they're all into the DNA of the voice. You know who they like? Who? Lizzo. Lizzo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I they both it. pointed out the quality of her voice. She does have one heck of a voice. Kind of surprising, but it's good to hear. It is. Hey, I bluntly asked Nicole and Lawrence about lingering perceptions of opera. You know, it's boring for the older crowd. Well, they've got an animated response in my extended interview right now on our streaming app, KHU 11 Plus, available through Roku and Fire TV. We've posted those extended interviews.